hello and welcome to my china china where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is olodu konyedi and i'm your host i want to say big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and those who are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button also excited to tell you that our online course is out so the link to get the course will be on the description of this uh, mess this uh, video and also i'm glad to tell you that our one-on-one -on -one training that we've been having issues with payment from people outside nigeria will finally fix that problem so anywhere in the world right now you can have a one-on-one -on -one training with me so we'll still put the link on the description so that you can click and get a one-on-one -on -one section if you get the section you just need to tell me the time that you will be comfortable for the one-on-one -on -one call section i will deal with any question that you have so thank you we have um, the subscriber that asked this question that we'll be taking today say good morning sir thanks for the great job how can i produce a detail column without breaking it for example one for seven story structure your name is at kadu dostan 497 uh, do those down. you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please just tell us your name and where you are com connecting con commenting from so we'll be handling this there's something about um, proto structure detailing of column i don't really use it because i don't like it and i'll show you what i use this is what i do I, I detail my columns manually so if you look at this this is the basement floor this is the ground floor so uh, my columns that are starting from basement this is it those that are starting from ground floor this is it this is the first floor second floor third floor fourth floor fifth floor we have the paint floor we have ceiling one and ceiling two but you can either say this is a if we follow this is the sixth floor this is the seventh floor and this is the roof so this is a seven story building and this is how i do it and those that will be purchasing the the our course this is something attached to that course that you can get access to you can always get access to this file or normally there's this is the pattern i use either just this one and every other columns falls in or another method is you draw each column separately this is grand this is first and this is the roof you do same for this same for all so either of the two they are okay so either you use this pattern by doing so if i want to do this i will draw i will do this separately do grand do first do second same for this same for all so or with this one one line just go all through then every other column falls in between that um, i put my label c1 i put c2 c3 c4 c5 this c1 a c4 in the drawing has four numbers and this is the size so this is how so it all depends 
if you have seven floors i think this will be best for you to do to do then there's something else whatever um, reinforcement it produces whatever reinforcement it produces for you to get this link the the formula for this link is your main reinforcement divided by four so if we divide this by four we'll be getting uh, six points something so and there's no six points in your reinforcement so that's why we use 10 we use 10 to do that then for the spacing in between it must not be uh, the link spacing must not be greater than must not be greater than the main it's now equals to it must not be greater must not be greater than must not be greater than not be greater than the main reinforcement multiplied by 12 so let's assume um, your sp you want a spacing you are dealing with um, y16 let's assume you're dealing with y16 as a member times 12 so your spacing must not be more than this so averagely if we if we use 175 it's below our 192 so it's okay so whatever we do it must be less than 194 so if you are using 12 let's assume 12 this your dam your diameter is 12 the spacing for it cannot be greater than 144 that's how we get our spacing why whatever the, the the main reinforcement is divided by four this should be the minimum size of your link your stirrup to tie the column so for what we do most time we just go to the next number which is 10 uh, so this is how I deal with my columns if whatever thing I produce the the main reinforcement then I use the orders to now get my spacing and my link so I hope I hope this explains what you are asking because in Prota it deals with it level by level. In, in, if you have basement, it will deal with the basement separately, it will deal with the first floor separately. And I know that's not what you're asking for. So I do my column manually. So this is a sample of what I, I use for this sample will be available is also available for the, the our online course it goes with it so if you get the course you get all this material so i hope it answered your question but if not please let me know and i'll be glad to respond to you but if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button until we come again Remember less. Thanks.